Chris, a pleasure to have you on. Is it all just the central bank, money printing, fear of inflation, whatever you want to call it, that has been driving buyers to gold? Or is there anything more fundamental at work here in this market? Yeah, so a lot of what has seen gold rise to current levels, and we do think these levels will persist for some time, has been just this overarching sense of uncertainty. Um, you know, we have seen markets come back. We have seen some correlations break down that tend to be pretty strong and pretty, pretty negative. And gold has really gotten some fire under its feet because of this economic uncertainty. You know, at the same time as we see investors moving back into public markets, they're not doing it without uh, knowledge that there are inherent risks. So what we've seen is is investors are not only just layering into these public market trades, but they're also layering into gold allocations. This has pushed uh, gold allocations, uh, as expressed through exchange traded product holdings, to essentially all-time highs. Um, you know, we see this ar around a number of measures, and so you know, it, it's not just uh, negative rates and and uh, you know stumbles in the economy as as big as they are, but this overarching level of, in of uncertainty is really what's driving investors to make allocations the space. You know, what do you make of the big split between silver and gold? It's been kind of one of these sort of the under the radar stories that I know a lot of people are talking about. I'm not sure what it means, though. So, I mean, if we're looking at a environment where people are investing in gold because of its role as a perceived safe haven, gold is really the metal that people do that through. And so that's what that's really what we've seen. If the question is, is there uncertainty? Is, are there economic questions? Are there challenges uh, more broadly? Uh, gold is the one that really benefits in most of these scenarios. Um, it, it's really hard to replicate gold's longstanding history with investors and in the monetary system. And so gold is the one that really stands out as the big option here. You know, rates are, are definitely gold, gold positive. Uh, you know, equities, you know, while, while they've uh, increased, you know, the relationship with equities has broken down to the point and we've actually got some attention for this. We do think, you know, equities are one of the things that, you know, people look at equities and tend to think that gold's going to perform negatively when equities do well. What we're seeing right now uh, is that's not necessarily the case. That's sort of breaking down, broken down a bit. And so when, when investors are looking at for metals out there, gold is the one that stands out above all else.